Hello everybody, my name is Louis and welcome back to Flickr and Myth Gaming. Today we'll be taking a look at the early access release of the Adrenaline Field Downhill Phenomenon Descenders, developed by Rage Squid and published by No More Robots. Descenders is a full force, unforgiving and satisfying take on the downhill mountain biking scene, with fantastic procedurally generated tracks, insane jumps, stupendous speeds and bone breaking bales. It's the video game adrenaline rush I never knew I needed. Some have labelled it the skate of downhill mountain biking, and I agree. It's an experience that you can lose hours to, and that's just messing around trying to pull off backflips on jumps that have no right to be backflipped. If you're looking for a non-linear version of the trial series, topped with a skate-like gameplay, you're going to be thrilled with Descenders. The first thing you notice when starting up Descenders is that it's awfully pretty. A few of the graphic options seem to be set to medium by default, so be sure to check those if you're looking for the best visual experience. The bikes and character models look fantastic. Foliage, dirt, god rays are ever present if you're going slow enough to notice them, and a gorgeous depth of field feature which you can toggle on and off. There's no doubting that the game is a looker. Before doing anything in Descenders, you'll be asked to jump into the tutorial. This will take place in the hub, where you can ride around and practice freely on the tutorial sections. The gameplay is incredibly simple to get the hang of, but it's a different kettle fish if you're looking to master it. Using your right trigger to accelerate, left to brake and the analogues to help you steer, lean and flip your way through the stages, the controls feel right at home. Keyboard support is available, but as you can imagine it's much easier to play with a gamepad, unless of course keyboard is your thing. So, there's four different locations in Descendants. The highlands, home to rolling hills and green pastures, the forest, trees, fallen trees and even bigger trees, canyon, big drops, big gaps and big fun, and the peaks, with insane speeds, narrow paths with a gentle dusting of snow. All are fantastically made and vastly different in terms of design and obstacles. The most visually pleasing though is by far the forest, but the most flowy and better feeling location is the canyon. To start off, you'll only have the highlands unlocked and to progress you must complete 5 levels in the current location without depleting the number of lives you have. You start off with 5 and you can gain extra lives by completing bonus objectives on each level. These bonus objectives consist of pulling off a certain trick, completing the level within a time limit, completing the level without breaking and many many more. But be careful, trying to pull off these objectives can be your undoing. On the 5th level of each location you will be presented with a boss jump. Boss jumps are pretty much exactly what they sound like. A huge jump over something that with one false move you'll be eating dirt. After completing the boss jump, you will automatically move to the next location to complete another 5 procedurally generated levels. However, use up all your lives and you'll need to start from the very first location. To unlock a permanent start in the next location, you'll need to complete all 3 bonus objectives over the boss jump. But thanks to the fact that you never play the same level twice, this wasn't an issue for me at all and added that extra challenge. To reward you for your insane adventures you earn rep. This will go towards leveling up, and upon leveling you will receive a reward in the form of clothing or a new bike. I want to say this is a random unlock rather than a set piece, as I unlocked a pretty cool looking bike by just messing around, but after completing all locations in one session, I received a pretty average looking pair of visors. There looks to be a decent level of customization, comprising of shirts, jerseys, shorts, helmets, etc, with accessories and more to come soon, but it would be cool to customise the different parts of your bike, or at least change the colour but I guess the system that they currently have would encourage you to keep playing to unlock those special bikes. To accompany you on your endeavours, Descenders presents you with a pretty fantastic playlist. They have teamed up with German bass label Liquidity to bring you the perfect soundtrack for hitting the mountains, from artists such as Ramses B, Monroe, Modest Intentions and many, many more. And the item on the cake is that the soundtrack is fully licensed, so no copyright strikes for us content creators. And believe me when I say you feel like a total badass when the music kicks in as soon as you land the most perfect 720. And the best thing about the music is that it doesn't stop or skip after completion of a level, letting you listen completely uninterrupted. To bring in different levels of immersion, Descenders has several different camera angles. From a simple third person camera to a low follow angle, and even a first person camera if you're feeling brave enough, each have their own advantages, but for me, the low follow camera looks the best, as it takes use of the depth of field feature, and with the UI turned off, the game looks absolutely fantastic. So far, I've only spoken good things about Descenders, but there are a few things I would love to have seen or have some issues with. Firstly, the lack of tricks. At the moment, there are only spins and flips. I would love to see some Tuck No Handers or some Supermans in the game to mix it up a little. However, on the community page, they said they haven't ruled this out. Next are maps. 
The fact that they are procedurally generated and that you never play the same level twice is fantastic, but if I play a map I really love and that has the perfect setup, there's no way I can ever play it again. A save track or save seed option so I can go back and play it would be perfect. Or, now I know this may be a stretch, but a map editor would be incredible, where you can build and share tracks with the community, setting challenges such as best trick or quickest time, I really feel Descenders can make a thriving community using this feature. Also, a replay option, or at least a photo mode, where I can save my best runs, maybe a free camera where I can place where I want during replays to make edits. And lastly, a key binding on the control pad for disable UI. Currently, it's Shift plus U, and it resets after every level, so being able to do it at the touch of a button on the controller would be ace. So, as it stands, the Senders is looking to fill the extreme sports hole that Skate left, and with the constant support and updates promised by the devs, it can only get better, and I can't wait to see what's in store for the future. Here at Flickr and Myth Gaming, Descenders is a 7 out of 10. Although the game is slightly bare bones at its current build, it's an incredible amount of fun. As always, thank you very much for watching, be sure to like, subscribe and follow Flickr and Myth on all the socials, and I'll see you all next time.